So in this question, we have a bag that contains 10 marbles, of which three are orange and the rest are blue. We are told that Kate will draw one marble, so she'll take one marble out of the bag, and then she'll put it back, and then she'll take out a second marble. The first question says, draw a tree diagram to illustrate the above information. So a lot of people panic with tree diagrams, but I promise you they're actually probably they're probably one of the easiest parts of probability. So what you've got to do is imagine yourself as Kate, okay? So we're going to put a little dot over here, which will mark the start of our tree diagram. Now, if you were Kate and you walk up to that bag for the very first time, you have, okay, now let's say you're not, you're not looking in the bag. So you stick your hand into the bag and you choose something. What are the two possible outcomes? You could either pull out a blue marble or you could pull out an orange. Now, of course, you could go draw seven blue arrows and you could go draw three orange ones. So you'd have a total of 10 arrows, but that's complicated. What we rather do is the following. We will say that the probability of a blue will out of a total of 10, seven of them were blue and out of a total of 10, our chances of getting an orange were three. Now you have to imagine which one. So let's imagine that Kate chose blue. Okay, so she's gone this way. Now you completely forget about this part. We'll get back to that later. So now Kate is about, okay, so she's taken that marble out. She's put it back and now she's about to do her second attempt. So when she puts her hand into the bag now, what are her possibilities? Well, once again, she could draw a blue or of course she could draw orange and her probability well for the blue well there's still 10 marbles left in the bag because she put the other one back and so there's still going to be seven blue ones and the probability for orange would still be three out of ten if however and we'll look at this in a future question kate did not put the other marble back then there would only be nine marbles left and we would have to change things up a bit now let's imagine instead that kate went down this path the very first time. Well, then when she does her next draw, these are her two possibilities. And once again, the possibilities or the probabilities would be seven out of 10 and three out of 10. Now that everything's complete, we need to look at the different combinations. So if Kate did this, that would be a blue marble and another blue marble. So I'm gonna call this the blue, blue branch. Likewise, this will be the blue orange blonde, the branch, not blanche. This would be the orange blue, and this would be the orange orange. So now the next question says determine the probability that Kate draws two orange marbles. Okay, so her first one is three out of ten, and the next one is three out of ten. So what would go in between that? Would you say or, or would it be and? Does she draw an orange or another orange, or does she draw an orange and another orange? Well, she draws an orange and another orange, and so we're gonna multiply over here. If it was or, then we would use the or formula. Remember, we looked at this in one of our previous videos, that if it says and, you have to multiply. If it's or, you, t um, you plus. So to memorize this, whenever you work on a tree diagram question, to work out the probability of a specific branch, you multiply. And so if we had to multiply these now, we would get a total of nine over 100. Number three, determine the probability that Kate draws two blue marbles. So that's the BB branch. So that's seven over 100 multiplied, not 100, seven over 10, sorry. So it's that one multiplied by this one, which is seven over 10. And that's gonna give us 49 out of 100. So her chances of getting two blues is 49% and her chances of getting two oranges was 0 0.09 or so it was 9 over 100 which is about 9%. So her chances of drawing two blues are much higher and that makes sense because there's more blues in the bag than orange. Number three, determine the probability that Kate draws a blue marble. Well that's quite a lot to ask. A blue marble could be any one of the following branches. This one, because that's 
BB, so that's blue blue. She could do this one, which is the blue orange. Or she could do that one, that's the orange blue. So we would have to go up, add all of those together. Okay, so let's do that and then I'll show you a faster way. So we already know the BB, the blue blue branch, that's 49 over 100. Let's quickly work out the blue orange branch, which is this one. Well, that's going to be 7 over 10 times by 3 over 10, which is 21 over 100. Next, we could look at the orange blue, where that will be 21 over 100. And then for the last one, which is the orange orange, we already said that that's 9 over 100. Oh no, but we don't want that one anyway. So we only want those first three. Now, what's very important is that when you take these three values now, now we can add. You don't have to, mul you mustn't multiply these. These ones you are actually going to add together. And that gives us a 91 out of 100 chance. And that's 91%. Now that makes sense. Imagine you, Kate, and you're busy drawing marbles out of a bag and you do this twice. The chances that you get a blue are going to be pretty high. I mean, there's 77 marbles are blue and only three are orange. So you have a 91% chance that you would get at least one blue. So Kevin, you mentioned that there was a faster way to do this. Well, yes, we know that if you had, well, the way it works in probability is that if you have to add each of these different branches together, which is all the total outcomes, you should get 100 over 100, which is one or 100%, okay? Because you, yeah, there's a, if you if you complete everything, it always equals 100%. For example, if we have Venn diagrams, and let's say those two circles completely give us 65%, then on the outside, we would have 35%, because we always have to end up with 100% if we're busy with percentages, or 1 if we're busy with probability fractions. So instead of adding this whole branch plus this whole branch plus this whole branch, why don't we just do this? Why don't we just calculate this branch, which is 9 over 100, and then just say, or, or that equals 0 0.09. Now we know that all of the probability should add up to 1. So we could say 1 minus that branch, which is 0 0.09, and that gives us 0 0.91 which is the same as 91 over 100, which is what we got over here. So instead of calculating three different branches, we only calculated one and then just subtract. So let me explain that once more. All four of those branches should add up to one, which is 100 over 100. The bottom branch is 9 out of 100. So if that's 9 out of 100, then it means that these three branches over here should give us 90 one out of a hundred. Next question says, determine the probability that Kate draws at least one orange. So at least one orange, well, that means one orange or more. So that would be this branch and this one and this one. Because remember, the word at least means that or more. So you can have more. So once again, we could go add each of these together, which would give us 51 out of 100 or because we know that these four branches should equal 100 over 100 then we could just say 100 over 100 minus this one over here and that also gives us 51 over 100 so whichever way is best for you